Hello there, internet. It's another summer's day, and I got a real summery beer for you today. It's a collab between Omnipoyo and Evil Twin Brewing, and it's the old fashioned lemonade IPA. And the man in the front there is the founder, owner, master brewer, what you want, of Omnipoyo, Henok Fenty, in case you were wondering. So what they themselves call this is an IPA with lemon added. It comes in at 7 ABV. Uh, I haven't had this before, but I've heard a lot of opinions about it online. It says that this is way more lemonade than IPA or even beer. So it's something that maybe a bit controversial definitely creative and maybe a new type of development when it comes to beer so let's see how i feel about it since it's not a traditional type of beer uh, I had some problems maybe choosing the glass, but I figured these glasses that I have are pretty much identical to the glasses you get if you go to Omnipoyo's own bar in Stockholm. So I figured that should be good for this. So as you can see the foam dies down rather quickly and it's not your typical beer foam. It's a bit lighter, more soda-like, it's kind of hazy, but definitely a lemonade color. It doesn't smell very strongly of lemons. I can definitely smell some beer here instead, a bit of yeast. And fruit, I'm not sure I'd peg it as lemon, as if, as when you make your own lemonade and you got all the essential oils from the rind leached down and you get that real powerful lemon flavor. It's not anything like that, it's more of a general mellow citrusy like smell. Not, yeah, it's a bit hard to pay. I don't think many people would blindly smell this and say, oh, this is a beer. It's a bit tricky. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. That's good. It does have some bitterness and lots of lemon. It's a bit like lemon soda with a splash of bitterness and with a lot less sweetness than for example if you'd have a Fanta lemon or something like that. But it's a bit in that direction but held back so it's Still a drink for adults mostly, I'd say. But is it a beer? Is it a beer? I can feel it's a bit strange to call this an IPA because it does not. It does not in any way taste like an IPA. Really, the bitterness together with the lemons, it's more like a lemon rind kind of bitterness. It's kind of like if someone just made a quick lemonade, just 
stomped or crushed a bunch of lemons and put it into a glass and carbonated it. Well, that's more like what it is. Yeah, and so definitely very refreshing. Can't taste the alcohol at all. When they say it's old fashioned lemonade, sure it is. Lots of lemon flavor here. But again, more like not so much lemon zest, lemon essential oils, more like lemon juice. And I don't think people would pick this as a beer if they just had a glass and they didn't know it was a beer. I think most people would believe that it's a lemon soda with less sugar in it. That's what it tastes like to me. Uh, lemon soda with barely any sugar added. So, it's good, it's a refreshing drink. If you're looking for beer, I think you'd be disappointed in this if you really have your heart set on drinking a beer, because this does not taste like beer anymore. That's my only little gripe with this. But why do you call it an IPA when it no longer really has anything in common with IPAs? Flavor profile wise. That's my only gripe. Because sure, I guess, you know, they started out with a le IPA base and then added lemons to it. But that took it so far that it doesn't taste like an IPA anymore. And then to me, I think it's wrong to call it an IPA because people who expect any type of West Coast or even New England style IPA flavor, they're not gonna get it in this can. Now I was forewarned and I know that both Omnipoyo and Evil Twin are pretty wild when it comes to experimentation. So I was prepared that that uh, this would be very different so I'm not sitting here steaming in my own rage but yeah call it an alcohol and lemonade alcohol lemon pop because that's what it is and it's good but it's not it does not taste like a beer at all really so what do you guys think have you had this or any other kinds of beers that to you push the envelope so far that it's really debatable if it's beer at all anymore or if it's completely honest to call it a beer and what did you how do you feel about it how far can you go like that's something I've been thinking about a lot with all this craft brewing creativity that's going on that what exactly is a beer because you know sometimes you're not sure what you're drinking and I'm okay with I'm okay with whatever people do but if you call something an IPA or if you call it a Bach or if you call it a stout then I think it should stay within certain parameters because that's the name of a beer style and there are certain rules for these beer styles that we should agree on and if you want to do something that's wildly different I think you should but don't call it an IPA anymore that's you know my only little tiny gripe don't say it's an IPA when it's when you can't tell, even when you have the can and you know what it is and you know it's supposed to be an IPA and you're tasting it, tasting it, it's nothing like an IPA. Then I think you're dishonest. Because I get why they want to put IPA on the label, because IPA is the most popular style in the craft beer scene today and it sells. So if you were to come up with a new 
name for this new kind of drink that it is, then people wouldn't buy it as much and you'd make less money. I mean, that's what's going on here, I think. They want to be able to put a selling label on their beer. And that's wrong. Don't do that. You want to make something new? Be honest and call it something new. But as a drink, it's good. It's really good. As a beer, it's a failure because it's not a beer. Flavor wise, I get that. Ingredient wise, it is a beer and it is brewed, you know, like a beer. But their end result to me is no longer recognizable as a beer. But now I'm just rambling, so let's stop there. Cheers, guys. And enjoy your summer.